India is the world's growth engine. It is a great honor. It is also a great responsibility, which I am sure you will excel in. Friends, when speaking of faith in our youth, how can we forget Bharat Ratna, former president, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam? I am sure that it is a matter of pride for everyone in the Anna University that Dr. Kalam was closely associated with this university. I have heard that the room he stayed in had been converted into a memorial. May his thoughts and values inspire our youth. Friends, we are graduating in unique times. Some would call it a time of global uncertainty. But I would call it a time of great opportunity. The COVID-19 pandemic was an unprecedented event. It was once in a century crisis that nobody had an user manual for. It tested every country. As you know, adversities reveal what we are made of. India faced the unknown confidently thanks to its scientists, healthcare workers, professionals and common people. As a result, today every sector in India is bursting with new life. Whether it is industry, innovation, investment or international trade, India at the forefront. Our industry has risen to the occasion. For example, it is electronic manufacturing. In the last year, India was the world's la second largest mobile phone manufacturer. <laughs> Innovation is becoming a way of life. In just the last six years, the number of recognized startups increased by 15,000 <laughs> percent. Yes, you heard that right, 15,000 percent. From just 417-2016, it is nearly 73,000 now. When industry and innovation do well, investments follow. Last year, India received a record FDI of over $83 billion. Our startups too received record funding post-pandemic. Above all this, India's position in the international trade dynamics is at its best ever. Our country recorded the highest ever exports of goods and services. We expected food grain at a crucial time for the world. We recently signed a trade deal with UAE to our west and with Australia to our east. India is becoming a vital link in global supply chains.